Mr. American Top Team, Dan Lambert, yes. And Mr. MLW, Major League Wrestling, Dan Lambert. <laughs> Get to what's important. Yes. <laughs> hey, this is so cool. Today, you guys opened up your facility here in South Florida in Coconut Creek. It's Kayla Harrison, PFL champion, judo, gold medalist, USA, media day. Very cool. What's it like, first of all, having someone of Kayla's caliber training here, being a part of American Top Team? Oh, you know, we, we want to be around the best. We want the best here to set an example for everybody else and lead the way. And, and Kayla's a beast. She, uh, you know, you, you see her come, you see the approach she takes to, to her job, and it's not a coincidence she's gotten as far as she's gotten. Dan, tell us just about the growth of American Top Team and being in the little warehouse facility and now this big training center a few miles down the road. You know, we, we were obviously one of the ones that were around early on in the sport when it wasn't quite as popular as it is now. And, you know, you go back to the mid 90s and it just, you know, there weren't a lot of people that were interested in it. A lot of people didn't know about it. So it was, it was more like a boys club than it was, you know, a pro team. And we've just kind of, you know, grown from an 800 square foot gym to, you know, the 40,000 foot place we're here just by kind of just going with the times. And as the sport got more popular, we got a little more bigger and we got more fighters and more coaches. And we just kind of grew with it. And it's just fun to have a, a good seat on a great ride. Dan, are there keys to success, keys to building this that come to mind when you think of how American Top Team has grown? You know, when we started, there was there was no like book that you can you know, look at and read to follow, you know, how do you build a team or how do you run an MMA team? Nobody knew what the hell we were doing. We, we didn't have a clue what was going on and we were just kind of learning as we went. And, you know, you look back now on, you know, what we've learned and where we are now and you look back to where we were then and what we knew then and it's like, oh my gosh, you, you don't know what you don't know. So it was just, it was just going along, enjoying the process, you know, trying to put in the work and learn from our mistakes and we've just been around a long time with a lot of guys so we've probably made more mistakes than most teams have which you know is, is really a good thing more than it is a bad thing because you learn from them and you, you try not to make them twice. What do you think about the development of the fighters and this this coaching staff that you all have put together here? Man you know you, you talk about you know the success of a team and it really comes down to the two things it's not you know the facility is nice and whatnot but it's all about just the, the good coaching and the good training partners and, and we bring in so many people from all different parts of the world and they all have knowledge and they all share knowledge and they all get better together and, and and that's what's really helped us progress as a team what do you think about kayla and the professional fighters league in itself and that format where you have a tournament style format you win a million dollars if you become champion new year's eve madison square garden it's just so cool i, I love the tournament format i mean it's, it's a throwback to the early days there's so many factors and what goes into winning a tournament. You know, obviously, you know, you need a little bit of tough, uh, a little bit of luck, but you need a lot of toughness and a lot of grit and a lot of skill and to get through the lineups. And, you know, it's, it's a really cool thing. And there's a big pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So you, know, you talk about, you know, eating what you kill, you know, that's the ultimate when it comes to that is, is a PFL tournament where you can make a million dollars. So it's exciting for us. We've had, you know, probably had like four or five different fighters, you know, strike gold with them so far. And we hope to, we hope to have more. That's right, not just Kayla. Yeah, American Top Team says several fighters win PFL titles, championships, a million dollars. Philip Lins, Nathan Schulte, Magnum and Magnum and Karamoff. You know, we, we, we've, had, we've had some and we're looking for more. When Kayla won, were you there at Madison Square Garden? I was, yep. It what was. was it like, Dan, being at Madison Square Garden? Mecca, not just of PFL, but also a mecca of old school pro wrestling, WWF days, WWE days, Madison Square Garden. Just to be in MSG and you know, see the pictures on the walls, like, you know, highlighting the history of, uh, of combat sports in that, in that arena, pretty cool. You, know, you throw in there, it's New Year's Eve, and you know, these guys are fighting for a million bucks. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Have you ever seen any pro wrestling in Madison Square Garden? I have. And I want to also ask you about, speaking of pro wrestling, Major League Wrestling. That's been a very cool thing that you've been a part of. What's it been like just being a part? You were with Impact Wrestling, and now you're part of Major League Wrestling. King Mo is also part of Major League Wrestling. And just being able to live that dream as well. MLW is great. I mean, they, they, they've got some really good minds and some really good talent. And, and to see some of the second and third generation guys that are, that are there, you know, I'm like, wow, you know, I grew up watching your dad. You know, I watched your granddad wrestle and to be around, you know, the Davy Boys and the Von Erics and Brian Hillman Jr. and see all that and then see some of the crazy up and coming talent 
that they've got there, like the Injustice team. And it's it's really cool. I'm having a really good time doing it. And, you know, we get to play the bad guys in the MMA angle, and that's a lot of fun, too. And then lastly, back to transition to MMA, what did you think about Dustin winning his fight against <clears throat> Connor and all the time and effort he's put in? Man, Dustin's just, he's been there so long. He's worked so hard. And, you know, you talk about something, that, you know, nothing comes easy. I mean, every fight that guy has been in, it seems, is against the guy that's ranked in the top two or three or a former champ. And he's going through these wars. And, and I don't know if anybody's got the resume that Dustin has as far as going to war with guys that, that were champions. I mean, he's beaten the Max Holloways and Anthony Pettis, Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Conor McGregor. I mean, he's just, the list of guys that he is going through is just, it's mind-boggling. But to see him get that stage and, and, and that payoff, I mean, being the first guy to ever finish Conor McGregor standing is, is great. He deserves it. It's, it's a testament to the, the coaching he's gotten here and the work he's put in here. And, Man, it's great that he's finally at that level now where, you know, maybe he can he can make some of his own rules and dictate what what happens to him on who he fights, where he fights. I mean, you talk about someone who's earned it, you know, he's earned it. A newer addition to American Top Team, Paige Van Zant, and also Austin Vanderford, her husband with Bellator MMA, and Paige is now going to have her Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship debut Friday in Lakeland, Super Bowl Sunday. What are your thoughts of them and especially Paige since she has her fight coming up joining the ATT team. I've been to quite a few bare knuckle shows. They're 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 kind of a throwback as well, and they're they're really exciting. Um, it's it, it, it's it's crazy the difference in the sport when you when you take the gloves off. Um, but uh, you know Paige is here putting in the work, and and Paige is tough, and Paige is skilled, and I think she's going to do really well there. And it's funny Austin gets a little bit of a rap, you know, hey he's married to Paige and that, but man Austin's a badass. In his own right, he's, he's one of the best prospects we've got in this gym. He's really tough, so hopefully they're going to be here a long time and do good things. And we'll wrap this up on Kayla Harrison Media Day, as I like to call it, the American Top Team. Do you think we'll ever see Kayla Harrison in a pro wrestling ring, Dan Lambert? Hey, you know, gold medals are okay, and you know, MMA belts are cool, but at the end of the day, if you haven't reached gold at the highest level of professional wrestling, what have you really done, Kayla? Let's go. Get, get, get your mind together. Get your eye on the prize. Finish up what you got to finish up here. And then let's go do something big. You heard it from Dan Lambert. Thank you, Dan.